Hi, I'm Monica. Software should be like cars, fast and beautiful. And that's exactly what our new OpenZava 7.5 version is like. Fast, because it allows hot code reloading, saving you hours of work throughout the day. And beautiful, because we've updated the visual style, making your applications feel modern to your users, and many, many more things. Let's take a look. Hot code reloading is something you're going to love. You're going to love it a lot. But instead of explaining what it is, I'm going to do a live demo, no tricks, no gimmicks, you can see on the screen a categories module with a single property. The application is running and working. Let's add a new property. So let's go to OpenZava Studio. In the code of the category entity, we simply add a new property. We'll call it Remarks. Then we click Save and that's it. No need to build, run a Maven package or restart the application, nothing. We simply go back to the browser. Once in the browser, we click on Filter. And, magic! Our Remarks property appears in the list. It's also available in the Detail view. Let's try entering a value and saving it. It works! And if we go to the list, there it is. There's no video editing trick here, this is how fast it is in real life, it's instant. Plus, in this case, it also created a new column in the database immediately. We added a persistent property, but we can make any changes, even modify OpenZava annotations. Let's see it in action. Let's go back to OpenZava Studio. We'll test with the add view annotation, which is present in almost all our OpenZava entities. We're going to use it to display both properties in the same row, one next to the other. We do this by separating the properties with a comma that we press Ctrl plus S, and that's it. Let's check if the application has noticed the change. We select the first record, and there we see how the fields are displayed side by side. Editing the add view annotation had an immediate effect, and we didn't even have to click reload in the browser. Let's do one more example so you can see that new classes can be created and XML files can be modified in real time. We are creating a new action called Hello World Action. It will be as simple as possible. It will extend from base action. We add the execute method. And it will simply display a hello world message. We still need to create a controller for category. In controllers.xml, we copy an existing controller, rename it as category, and include our action, hello world. We go back to the browser, without deploying, without restarting the application, without reloading the page. And we try executing any action, for example, new. And here is our hello world action. We click it, and it works. We have seen how any modified Java code is hot reloaded, including changes to class structures or the addition of new classes. Even persistent properties are recognized, and actions can be added in controllers.xml. We have also seen how OpenZava annotations can be modified. But there's more. You can create new entities, in which case the module is added and the new table is created automatically. Modules can be added or modified by editing application.xml, and labels and messages can also be added, all recognized without restarting the application. For all this to work, you need to use OpenZava Studio 7 or 4, running your application with the JDK it includes. You can also use IntelliJ or Visual Studio code as long as you run the application with OpenZava Studio's JDK. For more information, check the URL displayed. Another major improvement in version 7.5 is the updated visual style. The latest trends in application design, influenced by Google's Material Design 3, favor flatter, simpler, and more rounded styles. We have updated the base style so your users can enjoy applications with a modern and contemporary look. 
let's review some details. At first glance, we can see that the frames now have rounded corners. Buttons are also rounded and shadow-free. Additionally, their labels are no longer in uppercase. Notice how the background color of the frames is now uniform, without gradients. Let's take a look at a dialog box. Now, let's check how a collection looks. Notice that section labels are no longer in uppercase. We have not changed the CSS structure or the color palette of the current themes. This ensures there are no compatibility issues with your existing code. Any custom themes that extend from the base theme will automatically benefit from these improvements without requiring any modifications on your part. It's true that hot code reloading and the new visual style are the most striking features of this new version. But that's not all. There's much more in version 7.5, such as the new type attribute in the chart annotation, which allows you to choose the type of chart. Now, in addition to bar charts, you can also use line or pie charts. We can also configure the number of actions before the floating menu is used in row actions, allowing us to completely disable the floating menu by setting a high value. Additionally, there are tree improvements, such as the ability to disable drag and drop for a specific tree. All this and more than 30 new improvements. To update to the latest version of OpenZava, you don't need to download OpenZava Studio again. In fact, you don't need to download anything at all. All you have to do is change the version number in the palm.xml of your projects. Let's take a look. Open your project's palm.xml file. In the openzava.version entry write 7.5 and save. On the project, choose Run As. Maven Clean. Then go to Run As. And choose Maven Install. Wait a moment. And your project is already upgraded to 7.5 and ready to run. Moreover, from now on, when you create a new project from OpenZava Studio, it will default to version 7.5 without you having to configure anything. OpenZava Studio always uses the latest available version for new projects. To learn all the details, I recommend checking out the full announcement on the openxava.org blog. You'll find the direct link in the video description. Bye!